Well, hello again. I don't think I'm gonna get involved in this now, but I kind of just wanted to look at it. And, uh, I'm already confused because they were nice enough to label L and R, but and I didn't swap them out of the bag. I just took L out of that bag. L definitely fits better on the right side than it does on the left side. And I assume because the oil door is on the right side that you would just keep right, port, starboard, whatever, that way, unless they're looking at it from the front, which would be confusing. Long story short, as much as I appreciate the left and right marking, it's adding a little confusion, but I'm working on it. So, Maybe there's instructions somewhere, I haven't found them, but I also haven't looked for them. But they have this little line here. So I started by cutting that out and definitely am convinced that right is left and left is right. They really only fit that way. So that being solved, um, I'm gonna look into what the adhesive, the best adhesive is to glue them on. And I also haven't finalized this 100% yet, so I assume these two are gonna kind of like blend into each other. So a little more research. Yeah, I'm guessing that's definitely the way they go because it kind of only fits that way. So, but anyway, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. I am working on the, let me put this on here on the, my little storage cubby here. So if you remember from way back in the day, I decided uh, we're gonna move the battery forward. We put a pump in for a smoke system, uh, just kind of for fun. And I designed this cardboard tank, which I was gonna make out of aluminum. And I kind of just held off, I don't know why. Um, this is a five gallon tank and it does slide in. And the idea was to make this removable and then put a bin in for storage. So you have a choice between smoke and storage, but we're really not doing air shows. So kind of just want both. So I said, all right, I'll make a smaller tank. And I kind of came up with a two gallon tank that would sit right about there. And then this will be storage. And two gallons gives you probably about four minutes worth of smoke. So I thought that was a little too small and I came up with a compromise of a three gallon tank. <laughs> so it's gonna be made out of 50 thousandths aluminum. It's six inches by nine inches by 13 inches. And that gives enough clearance for the uh, aileron and the rudder cables. And the plan is, all right, this is cool. So I'll tell you how I'm gonna mount it in a minute. This slides in here, there's a couple of L brackets down here. And then I'm gonna put a little plastic, I'm gonna make this myself, like tray, but because of the way this is configured, it's obviously gotta be able to come in and out. So I think it's good. the back wall and this wall is gonna be solid uh, along with this wall, and the sides will be on a hinge. So it'll be like one of those collapsible tray things that you keep in the back of your truck. And the idea is, is that it'll be these three sides will be flexible enough to get it in and then you pop the sides up and they kind of just lock into grooves there and that holds everything in. I don't know if it'll work, but if it does, that'll be pretty cool. If nothing else, it'll be fun to build. So anyway, here's my three gallon tank. Um, there's enough room, I had the, the filler cap and the, uh, you know, where it takes the fuel out. Um, it kind of fits up underneath here. I have over an inch and three quarters. So what I did here, step into my office. So I basically just took plain clamps and mounted them, similar to the way the tank is mounted and some of the these things here. Um, and everything lines up perfect, except this lines up right on this seat bracket weld. So I think on this side, I'm gonna do a two inch by two inch uh, angled aluminum and just basically cut everything off that I don't need and kind of just dog leg this over so I can mount it uh, one inch over on that side. But um, uh, if you remember, I actually put silicone between the tubes, like in the, in the skin to give it, you know, a little bit more rigidity. 
but you can just slice that out and stick those underneath. So that's where I'm at with that. It's time to turn cardboard into aluminum. I just hope that I can bend that on my new super duper oversized Harbor Freight. Here's the two pieces, and uh, hopefully, I'm not gonna do it, but I have a friend who welds race tanks for race cars, so, sorry, gas tanks for race cars, and he's gonna weld that, and I am trying to figure out, I'm gonna put two studs here that will allow, like with a rubber stopper, you know, like two things that hold it in here, and then two bolts in the front, that's the idea there. So basically I just gotta figure out those exact locations um, where the filler piece and the withdrawal piece is gonna go. Um, while I was at making a mess on the table saw over there, I cut some plastic, probably getting ahead of myself. I don't really care if this works or not, but usually if I kinda just go gung-ho at it, it ends up coming out awesome. So I'm using the same bend, but I'm using this as a heat shield. So I'm just heating that with the heat gun and I'm gonna bend the plastic and that's gonna be for the storage tray. I think I'm on the right track. Might be able to use that after all. This is kind of the uh, side profile that we want. This is the behind the seats. This is in front of the tank. And uh, I overbent it. All right, let's try it again. Stupid GoPro died. But uh, oh, I didn't die, it just didn't record. And uh, so that's the side profile. Uh, I bent it a little bit stronger because uh, I want this to be able to fold up and then lock into there. So that's how it's gonna lock itself into that area because obviously it's smaller on top. I also made a half inch border there because I'm gonna put a half inch piece in here before the hinge for the side pieces. And that's kind of in case anything ever spills in there, it'll be water tight uh, or oil tight or fluid tight or whatever. Um, as far as this goes, that worked quite well making you know a very dedicated line between the uh, heat shields, but it also dissipated too much of the heat, so uh, it was not working with the heat gun. ABS needs about two or 300 degrees to melt or to become formable. And uh, I had to use the big guns there, the, the torch. And that worked well, you just wanna make sure that you don't um, melt, you know, bubble it all up. So I think I'll be able to use that, but uh, kind of just going at it, see what happens. Uh, anyway, but tonight I'm going to bed, good night. It's only 10, but uh, I gotta get some sleep. I've been up late and uh, tomorrow's back to work, but I'll be working on this after that. See ya. I figured before I get too carried away with that plastic piece, I gotta kind of figure out how it's gonna sit and where it's gonna mount. So what I did is I got two two inch angle, two by two inch angle aluminum, 1 16th. I put a couple of uh, regular plain clamps underneath and then just uh, put them in with countersunk um, screws and yeah it's a little bit tricky to get in but the idea is, is I'm actually gonna trim an inch off of here this one here I think I mentioned I have the dog leg over here so I needed the two inch and I'm gonna keep this you know for uh, strength and put some lightning holes in it and what I'm doing now is working back on the tank and on the back of the tank I'm gonna put two prongs that stick out with like you know, feet, 
uh, hard to explain, like, let's see, like maybe a spacer or something with a quarter 20 bolt that bolts into the tank. So when it slides in, it actually locks into the cage. So there's no fasteners in the back. And then there'll be a fastener on the side here and a fastener on the side there. And what I have for that are these quarter 20 bungs that are actually gonna get welded into the tank. So back to how do I get the location of that hole? I got a acrylic piece that's 13 by six, which is the size of the tank. And I basically just marked where the cage tube frame lines are. And then I'll transfer that onto here. Disregard the blue line, that was me trying to do it by reaching in with the magic marker. So there'll be a hole there, a hole there. This will be welded in and then some kind of a, like rubberish type spacer will sit in there and help lock it in. So that's today's project. So that worked out pretty good. Um, I put the bungs on the inside, uh, threaded those in. These are just temporary, but I'll use something like that. They're basically studs that go inside there. So slide that in. That locks in like really tight. Now I'm just gonna mark the sides here. Pop it up. I like that design. That worked out great. So basically the bung will be welded to the inside of the tank before the tank is welded shut. And then you can just put a screw in here and the same thing on that side. And that puppy ain't going nowhere. Now back to this contraption. Um, so this front part is flexible enough to basically, I suppose, So this needs to flex for this to go in there and then the sides will pop up and that'll give you your storage area. And then you pop the sides back down and you can just pull it out. Got it? Here's what I came up with so far. So these are the sides, I copied off of my cardboard template. And they're the ones that are gonna lock in <coughs> into here. And remember I said I'm gonna put have this half inch kick on the bottom so this this will get glued in here this will add rigidity to the bottom and also just in case something spills it's not going to go right out um, outside so I'm going to glue that together all right so that was a whole bunch of cutting and gluing little things this is how it sits on the plane forward backwards and uh, again, this flexes to be able to go in there. Then I put little grooves. These uh, just lock into place like this once it's in. And there's your storage compartment. Now, still needs to be painted and uh, you know finished. Originally, I had uh, bought some acrylic hinges to put down here, but I think I'm just going to use the tape hinges that they use for like RC airplanes. All right. And we'll see it in the airplane. I'm so glad you asked. All right. So these are in permanent. This is uh, not finished yet, obviously, but uh, let's see, I think. Track, like that, lock that in. That in. Yeah, not gonna go anywhere. Storage. 
I know it's silly, but I really like how that came out. I think it's kind of cool. Alrighty, while I was at it, I drilled the holes for the pickup, the fuel cap, and I had another bung for a pickup, so in case uh, you want to do aerobatics, you need one that gets its air somewhere else. Um, I put it in just because you can not you can plug it, but you can't put it in afterwards. This is uh, one of the mounting points. These are the studs that go into the frame and hold it in. This is the other mounting point. And uh, yeah, I got it to fit pretty good. This is probably the biggest gaps here. Hopefully uh, the guy welding it can uh, make it watertight or oil tight. So that's off to the welder. That I'm gonna bring to the shop and texture coat this side and then satin finish on the inside. We're going to call this session 16 washers, 18 washers, get it? Because I made 18 washers. So uh, yeah, those ugly ducklings are now these cool looking things. Um, useless, but it looks really cool. It looks like legitimate aircraft stuff, even though it's Home Depot stock. Let's put it in the plane. I don't, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but the nuts that go underneath here, this foam, even up front, actually helps in holding nuts and wrenches in place rather than trying to finagle it on there. So, um, yeah, it all worked out really nice. And this is my little flexible piece. Again, picture the gas tank in there. So, uh, sorry, the oil tank. The oil tanks uh, at my friend's house. I dropped it off to get the seams welded. I don't know how long that's gonna take, but um, I did end up using just tape on these hinges. I don't know if I talked about that, but I painted it. it looks really nice. So basically, yeah. So basically, you're gonna be able to, to flex this to slide it in underneath here, and then just. There's little uh, grooves that these side panels will lock into and it'll kind of be self-locking inside there with the uh, oil tank in there. So there you have it. Um, more useless stuff. This is, uh, uh, I don't know, I'll end the video here. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna work on next. Uh, George got the avionics fired up, so he sent me a video earlier, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, might do some tail stuff, but uh, here's, uh, here's what I did this week. All right, happy building.